welcome to my class in today's class we will see the continuation of the topic operations on sets so the second operation intersection of sets so intersection of sets so let a and b be two sets then intersection of a and b is the set of all elements which are common to both a and b so this is actually the definition of intersection of sets so suppose if we have two sets a and b so let a and b be two sets then the intersection of a and b is the set of all elements which are common to both a and b so we'll consider one example now a set a is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 and set b is equal to 4 5 6 8 so we have here two sets a and b now we will see the definition one more time so the intersection of a and b so the how to represent the intersection how to write symbolically this intersection of a and b we will use this symbol to denote intersection so a intersection b so this is the symbol we have to read this as a intersection b so a intersection b is the set of all elements which are common to both a and b so we have to check in both the set which elements are common those elements common elements collection is actually intersection so a intersection b is set 4 5 so intersection of two sets a and b is set 4 5 now we will see how to represent this set in semiconductor form so a intersection b is equal to set of all x such that x belongs to a and x belongs to b so this word is very important the word and which is usually associated with intersection the word and so here set of all x such that x belongs to a and x belongs to b its meaning is those elements of a and b the common elements of a and b will be the elements of intersection that is a intersection b now we will see how to represent the a intersection b in uh, using venn diagram so uh, the same example we will take so a is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 8, and b is equal to set 4 5 6 8 8. so first we will draw the universal set as uh, rectangle so universal set and we will denote a set a so the elements of a are a, 1 2 3 4 5 these are the elements of set a and set b that is 4 5 6 8 so 6 a 4 5 6 8 this is set b now a union b we want we got as so not a union b a intersection b what is a intersection b we got is set 4 comma 5 so this is our intersection so if you see here 4 5 is in this portion only so this is actually a intersection b so a intersection b is this region only so if you have a rectangle that is if you have a universal set u and two sets a and b then the intersection is this common region of both a and b this common region only is represented as the intersection of two sets now uh, we will consider then another example let us see another example here we will have b is equal to set 4 5 these two elements alone uh, we will consider in b so b is equal to set 4 5 now we will calculate we will find out intersection 
So A intersection B is equal to common elements that is 4, 5. So here if you see in this example, if you see the intersection is the set B itself. So that is one important point here we have to, uh, I have to say that is if B here if you see B is a subset of A. So if B is a subset of A then A intersection B will be B. That is if a set B is a subset of A then the intersection of the two set will be the subset. The subset will be the answer for the intersection. Now, I have uh, another example. We will see another example. Here, I am taking B as 7, 8, 9. So, here we are taking A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and B is equal to 7, 8, 9. Here, if you see, when you calculate A intersection B, when you calculate A intersection B, is there any common elements for both the set A and B? No. We don't have any common element. So, in this case, we can write A intersection B is null set. So, here, if the intersection of two sets is null set, then we can call these two sets as disjoint set. So, disjoint. So, what is the definition of disjoint sets? If two sets are disjoint sets, then its intersection will be null set. That means no common elements for the two sets. So, how to represent this disjoint set in Venn diagram? We will see. Uh, this is the universal set and we have a set A and both A and B will not have any common element. So, this is how we will denote this joint set. No overlapping of set. This will be like this. Two separate sets. You have to denote both the uh, sets are two separate uh, closed circles. Closed, uh, closed circles or circles. So, this is how we will denote this joint sets. Now we will see the properties of intersection. What are the properties we have? We will see. Properties of intersection. So what we have discussed for union. So similar type properties we have for intersection also. The first property is A intersection B is equal to B intersection A. This is commutative property. Commutative property. Then the second property is A intersection B intersection C is equal to A intersection B intersection C. This is associative property. Then third one, A intersection null set. A intersection, if you are taking intersection with a null set, the answer will be null set. And then same if you are taking intersection with the universal set, then the answer will be A. This is known as law of loss of null set and union. Then fourth property, A intersection A is equal to A. This is idempotent law. Now we have one more property. That is A intersection B union C is equal to A intersection B union A intersection C. This is actually distributive law. Here this is distributive law. Here, intersection, this operation, intersection distributes over union. Here, intersection distributes over union. So, these are the properties of intersection. First one, commutative property. That is, when you calculate A intersection B and B intersection C, uh, so A, you will get the same answer. Then the second property is associative property. Then uh, loss of uh, identity and the universal set. 
a intersection a is equal to a this is idempotent law then the distributive law that is uh, the intersection distributes over union and we have when, you, uh, when we talk about this distributive law we have the other also that is union distributes over intersection that is also there that is union distributes over intersection so a union b intersection c is equal to a union b intersection a union c this law is also there for the union distributes over intersection so now we will see how to verify this distributive law using venn diagram so we are going to see the verification of this distributive law using venn diagram so verification so a intersection b union c is equal to a intersection b union a intersection c so we will start with our lhs we are going to represent the lhs and the rhs in terms of venn diagram representation using venn diagram so first we will take a lhs so here lhs first we will consider we will draw this b union c actually here we have b union c first we will draw b union c this is our a this is b we have one more set c we have one more set c so how we are going to represent so a b and c first we will consider only this portion b union c we are going to represent using venn diagram so we have already seen how to represent union that is the in the uh, both the set b and c together will come in b union c so this is nothing but b union c so one part of the lhs we have uh, represented using venn diagram now we will see the entire expression in the lhs so the second expression what we are uh, having is a we have a set a set b and set c now this is a b and c now you see here this is our b union c now we are going to do intersection with this and a we are going to find intersection between a and b union c actually we have this is a set this is a set this is b union c this is b union c so what is the common region for both both a and this b union c actually you are getting this region is common for both a and b union c so this is uh, this region only will come under a intersection b union c so we will just shade those that portion alone here so this is actually a intersection b union c so we have represented the lhs expression using venn diagram now we will see the rhs in rhs first we will denote this a intersection b and the a intersection c using venn diagram so we will consider now a set a b and c also so a b c first we are going to calculate a intersection b a intersection b means the common region between a and b so this is actually a intersection b then the second one we will consider b a, sorry a intersection c so a intersection c we are going to draw now so a set a b and the c here a b and c so a intersection c is the common region of this a and c that is this region will be a intersection c now the third and third one the entire expression in the right side that is we have set a set b set c a b c universal set and here we write a intersection b union a intersection c so you will say 
we are going to find the union of these two union of these two means this entire region that is this region and this region together including the common region so how will you shade this so actually this portion this portion and this portion together so this is a intersection b this is a intersection c union means this portion and this portion so together this region so this is the region uh, which is represented that a intersection b union a intersection c is represented here now you check this right side expression and the left side expression actually we got the same region so LHS and the RHS diagrams are same that is LHS is equal to RHS so we can verify so this is how we have to verify the relation or distributing law using Venn diagram now we will go to the next concept next operation difference of sets difference of sets Suppose if we have two sets A and B, let A and B be two sets, then difference of A and B is the set of elements belongs to A but not to B. So this is the definition. So difference of two sets. So we suppose if we have two sets A and B, then the difference of set A and B is the set of elements belongs to A but not to B. So let us consider one example. A is equal to set 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, and we will consider another exam, another set B is equal to 3, 4, 8, 9, 10. So here if you see we have two sets A and B. Then the difference of A and B which is denoted by A minus B. So this is the symbol uh, used to represent different, difference of two sets A minus B is equal to set of elements belongs to A but not to B. So you have to check in set A which are the elements are there in B. So you just check a 1. 1 is there in B? No. What about 2? Two? 2 is not there in B. What about 3? Yes. 3 is there in B. So you have to uh, remove this number. Then what about 4? Yes. 4 is also there in B. You need not consider so what is the remaining elements in set A after removing the elements which are in B? What is the remaining element? 1, 2 and 7. So this is the difference of A minus B. So one more time you just see the definition. The uh, set of elements of A. Actually A minus B means in that set we should write the elements of A which are not in B. So if you see 1, 2, 7, these elements are not in B. So this will be the difference of A minus B. Now we will calculate the reverse. That is B minus A. We will cal calculate now B minus A. So B minus A means set of all elements of B which are not in A. So we will check whether 3 is there. Yes, 3 we cannot take. 4 is also there in A. So we cannot take. So the remaining element 8, 9, 10 in B which are not in A. So B minus A is the set 8, 9, 10. So here if you see we got A minus B and B minus A are not equal. That is here the commutative property is not satisfied for the difference of set. But the previous two uh, operation, if you see union and intersection, commutative property is there. But for the difference of set, this is not satisfying. Commutative property is not satisfying. Now, how to represent this in set builder form? So, A minus B is equal to set of all X such that 
all these x belongs to a and at the same time x should not be there in b so this is how we have to represent a minus b in set builder form a minus b equal to set of all x such that x belongs to a and x do not if x uh, uh, does not belong to b so this is the set builder form now we will see how to represent this in Venn diagram using Venn diagram how we will represent this so here u is the universal set we have set a and set b a set a and set b now the difference a minus b all the elements of a which are not in b so this region is actually a minus b this region is a minus b then what about b minus a set of all elements of b which are not in a actually actually this region is b minus a this region is b minus a then what about this portion this portion how we will denote this portion actually this is a intersection b so if you see in this venn diagram the region a minus b the region b minus a and a intersection b these three portion are actually disjoint sets these are disjoint set because they don't have any common element no common if you see this region and with this no common element in the same way if you see in a intersection b and b minus a no common element these two also have no common element so these three sets that is a minus b a intersection b b minus a are disjoint sets now we'll see few examples on these operations okay so we'll see one example now set x is equal to a b c d and set y is equal to f b d g find x minus a y minus x x intersection y x union y so we will see one by one so first x minus y that is the difference of x and y so we have already seen the definition of difference set of all elements of x which are not in y so here if you see a is not there in y so we can write a here what about b b is there in y also so we cannot write b c c is not there in y so we can write in difference what about d d is also there so the x minus y set will have only two elements a and c so x minus y is equal to set a c now we we'll go to the second one that is y minus x y minus x is the definition is set of all elements belongs to y but not to x so we'll start with the y f f is not there in x so we can write the f b b is there we cannot write what about d d is also there in x so we cannot write what about g g is not there so y minus x set y minus x contains f and g as elements now the third question is x intersection y so what is the definition of intersection so intersection is the set of all elements common to both x and y so you have to find out the common elements here so here if you see b and d are common in both x and y so x intersection y will have b comma d so now the fourth question fourth one is x union y so we have to find the union of two sets x and y so fourth one x union y is equal to all the elements of which are the elements of x or the elements of y or both so we will write all the elements a b c d f g so this is union of Uh, the set x and y so this is how we have to do operations on sets thank you students